All right, what you're looking at here is my VMware Workstation um, environment. In here, I've got a small VMware Horizon lab, currently running Horizon 7.8. So I've got uh, AD controller, remote desktop session host, my Horizon connection server, and a Windows 10 VDI. So there's no ESX uh, host in here or vSphere infrastructure. What I have here is a uh, Windows 10 VM, which I kind of treat as an unmanaged um, virtual machine. And when I say managed, I don't mean by Horizon, I mean more by um, vSphere itself. So quite often I get asked about the upgrade process and how easy it is and how quick it is and what it looks like for those that have never done it. So this is just a quick video to show what that looks like. If I just full screen this server for you. I apologize if there's a bit of background noise, that's the fan on my laptop that's kicked in. Obviously I'm running a number of VMs as well as my base OS, so that's quite normal for that to kick in. This is my Horizon connection server. So at the moment that's running Windows Server 2012 R2 and that's also running version 7.8 of Horizon. So I've downloaded version 7.9, which as of today is, is the current version. So I'll just launch that. So what should happen is that it will detect the existing version and do an in-place upgrade. Uh, as part of the documentation for Horizon, there is a process. So if you are using a number of components like UAG, like user environment manager, like app volumes, like multiple connection servers, uh, or any other, other, other components, there's a specific running order that you should follow in terms of update. As I said, in my environment, it's pretty straightforward. I have a connection server, I have a remote desktop session host, and I have that Windows 10 VDI. So once I've updated the connection server, for me in this little test lab, the next steps would be to update the Horizon agent in both the session host and the Windows 10 VDI image. The installer file itself is around uh, 300 meg, I think it is compressed, so it's not particularly big. Um, but as you can imagine now, this is kind of preparing and, and um, you know getting those files ready for the upgrade. But also, as I said, um, at this stage, it will probably start to, to look at the existing machine to understand um, you know which components are already there. So as I said here, it's version 7.9. So I'll accept the terms. So this is just the customer experience program. So if you want to opt in, you can, and then it will anonymize the data and you know, send that back to VMware. So I'll just remove that for the time being. Given my environment is not a real world, it doesn't have real world uh, loads on it or use cases as it's just a lab. Okay, so I'll just install. you can see it's uh, removed the, the previous version, <clears throat> stopped the services and, and, and gone through that pretty quick. You can see that what it did there is remove the shortcut for the admin console. So it really creates that. When this finishes, we'll need to do a quick reboot. Um, and at that time, I'll take the opportunity to stop the recording and then I'll, I'll make a second recording of the update of the Horizon agent in my session host. As I said, pretty straightforward, but uh, rather than one on video, I'll, I'll break that out into two.
So as that's finishing off, I guess one point of note there is that there's there's really not a lot I had to do. Um, there weren't many choices. It, it looks at the existing um, component, Horizon component, and, and, and kind of replicates and, and, and just does an update to, to what's in place. So it doesn't go through an install and start asking you what features you want, or if you want to add or remove anything, it will literally go through and just do a straightforward update. And there's an option here as well to, to, to link and review some of the documentation. So you may want to look at release notes. Uh, you may want to look at um, you know, general horizon admin documentation, but I won't do anything like that. So I'll just say finish. Okay, didn't, didn't require a reboot. So if I then go to services real quick. Virtual machine isn't always the quickest to respond really because um, because they're running on my laptop rather than the host, I have to be quite sort of sparing with the CPU and memory resources I assign. If I just go to services real quick, just gonna make sure everything's running that I'd expect it to be. Yeah, so you can see there a whole bunch of Horizon services that are running with the main one being the connection server. So you can see it's resumed, it's up and running. So at this stage, um, I'm gonna stop the recording and just power on my remote desktop session host, and then we'll take a quick look at updating the Horizon agent. Thanks for your time.